built here in South Africa by Paramount Group. The Mbombe 4 is one of the quickest armoured vehicles on the market today. As a response vehicle, it's designed to take high on-road speeds off-road, ferrying troops in and out of war zones in double-quick time. The Paramount Group are based on the outskirts of Pretoria, and it's fair to say that if you're in the market for a bulletproof and possibly bomb-proof go-anywhere machine, then they'll probably have something to suit your needs. I know there's like quite a lot of rugged terrain in South Africa, but this is a bit over the top, don't you think? Well, to be honest, Vix, I ordered this direct from Paramount. You see, I want to do some serious off-roading, and I know how you love off-roading yourself. In fact, we were heading to their secret test facility, where they ensure that their vehicles are fully fit for purpose, before they're sent into life-threatening military situations around the world. Well, thanks for letting me know, Tiff. And it seems he wasn't done with the surprises. In fact, I even ordered you a Paramount vehicle. Not quite as powerful as mine, but... Uh, of course it wouldn't be, would it? There you go, Vix. That is good looking. Well, purposeful, anyway. While the Mbombe is for army use, the Maverick is a police riot vehicle. Think of it as a Ford Transit with extra attitude. I may have to double skin armour plating and 100 millimetres thick glass to withstand a grenade if it was thrown under the belly of a car, but can I withstand the pressures of Nadell off-road? Yes, you've guessed it. Tiff has decided we should have a race. Has he stacked the deck? Well, I'll let you decide. Whoa, whoa, come on! Whoa! Oh, I've definitely got the drop on him there. I'm flat out, I'm flat out, but he's taking me! <laughs> Now, I've had some tough races on fifth gear, but this one is going to be a doddle. I made sure I've got the most powerful Paramount car, 8.9-litre, six-cylinder turbo diesel, 450 horsepower. While I had a 295-horsepower engine. And to add to my woes, my Maverick was heavier at 19 tonnes, compared to the Mbombe, which weighs 15 tonnes. Oh, yeah. I can't see much. Oh. I told her she had no chance at all. The man's ruthless. Now, at this point, I could have thrown in the towel and just let a man with a much bigger truck win. However, more than pride was at stake for the loser of this race, so I had to come up with a plan. Some would call it cheating. I call it a shortcut. I'm sure Nadell would do the same if he was in a slower car. This Mbombe 4 can do nearly 100 miles an hour. And it's got independent suspension, hydro-pneumatic suspension that rides these ruts, whereas Vicky's got two live axles, which is very good for slow articulation, but not for beating me. All I can see behind me is clouds of dust. <laughs> Yada, yada, Tiff was right. With a top speed of 75 miles an hour, my Maverick was considerably slower. <laughs> but now I only had half the distance to cover. As the Americans say, you do the math. She doesn't like off-roading very much. Now she's off-roading in a fog of dust. Wrong! Though Tiff was right about one thing, my Maverick's live axles were coping brilliantly with my new, more extreme route. It almost feels like a rally car. It's so responsive. Whoa, what a crash. If I'm hit by fire, I have fire extinguishers on all four corners of the car and also around the engine bay, which I can control here and extinguish the fires. <laughs> This is a fast attack, fast pursuit, infantry fighting vehicle. And I love it. Where is Tim? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? By now, I'd rejoined the main course, and guess what? I was ahead. Oh, I can see him. I can see him. 
My shortcut's worked. Come on, girl. Cheating! Cheating! She won't win. Need some of my dust for a change. Oh, the finish line is in sight. I'm gonna do this. I have the power. The oh, it's understeering, it's oversteering. There's grass. <laughs> She's not gonna win. Oh yes. No 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> So I'd lost, and this would be my forfeit, a ride in the Mbombe 6, the Mbombe 4's big brother. And why was it a forfeit? Because Tiff was at the wheel. Oh! Stop, 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 I can't see. Seriously. Oh, my God. Just let her climb. Come on. Come on. Come on! I think she's doing it all right. Are we, we're still moving. We're still going. We're still going. Oh, come on, girl. Come on. Come oh, on. I can only see the sky. the sky. Oh, I can only see the sky. Tiff, stop, 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 darling. This is like a ravine. I'm not going down there. I can't even see the bottom. Look, it's got six-wheel drive. Yeah, but no, thank you. My constitution is not right. Back up. Not reverse. Back up. I'm not reversing. I'm not joking. I'm not reversing. You need to back up. I'm not reversing. Literally, I can't. This is not funny. Tiff, this is this is not. Oh. The vehicle shouldn't be going down here. Oh, no, oh, no. Are it's all you right. I've got engine, I've got engine braking on. Are you insane? Uh, Are you insane? The Umbombe 6 is a low-profile infantry fighting vehicle carrying 11 troops. At half a million pounds, it's an expensive but very effective way to scare the wits out of your co-presenter. I'm under control again now, but only trouble is what goes down no, has to come up. <laughs> it's like a vertical cliff. This is insane. Other vehicles have been this way, then it's anywhere to go. You know? There's only one way to find out. A smidgen of oversteer on the way out, just as it should be. <laughs> okay, Tiff, too much, too much, too much, too much. Calm down now. 